One of the more interesting action triggers available in Web1 BPS is the menu button. It is pretty flexible in that it can be used globally for the entire workflow or for just one step. Each button can have multiple actions defined for it, and if you end up having too many buttons, you can always group them up into a neat dropdown. Once created, whether the button is available or not can be controlled with a business rule and a form rule in this extra tab here. The logic for both of these is the same. If the condition returns true, then everything continues to work as normal, but if false is returned, the button will become unusable or straight up invisible. For example, if we have a button that generates an attachment and we don't want the user to make extra copies by clicking the button repeatedly, we can type in a quick form rule which will disable the button and show a message if an attachment already exists. We can also completely hide the button with a business rule. Same idea as before, but this time if the condition is met, the button is hidden entirely. This exercise and many like it are covered during the Webcon Academy course. Click on the link to learn more about our basic and advanced courses.